It's a startling situation for one family in Roanoke. While walking her children to school, a mother says she found needles in an alley not once, but three times in just the last couple of weeks. WDBJ 7's Christian Heilman is live in Roanoke tonight. Christian, the opioid epidemic came to them. Yeah, it really did, Jean and Robin. The mom I spoke with said she hadn't really been paying much attention to the opioid crisis until it showed up in her backyard. The walk from home to school is good family time for Beth Deal and her kids. They tell us stories about school or what they anticipate doing that day. They take the alley behind their home to Fallon Park Elementary. About a quarter mile walk. Right here, actually right where this tire track is now. Their deal says she came across a needle, the first of three in the last two weeks. She's just glad her kids, who are four and five, didn't find them first. This age is very curious. They would pick anything up. After she found that third needle, she ended up calling the police and posting what she learned on Facebook. I've never had a post have that much attention. Hundreds of people liked and shared it. It's a message Tracy Coltrane wants to share too. Imagine if it was a child who found this and didn't know not to pick the needle up. That's what scares me. She's with RASAC, an organization raising awareness on the opioid epidemic. She says touching a needle could be extremely dangerous if there is heroin or fentanyl on it. It could kill you on the spot, uh, even uh, you know as much as one little grain of it could potentially kill you. Roanoke police say people should call them if they see needles and don't touch them. I just don't want to take any chances. It's a lesson this mom is taking to heart. Roanoke police say they don't get too many calls about needles, but they are more than happy to come and take care of them. They actually have containers in each of their cars so that they can store and then dispose of them the right way. Jean.